I saw your comments about um, not getting paid for the Red Dwarf video uh, being released and uh, be interested to know what the, the, the cause is behind why you weren't paid for something that sold so well. Seems a bit unfair. Um, also on your ideas that um, artists don't get paid you know, by the companies, um, I think that's uh, quite a common thing. And uh, the Pirate Bay uh, have decided, I think it's in the works, to start a new type of service whereby um, you can subscribe and you can buy music from them and um, you'll actually get to keep that music uh, in a transportable format unlike Apple iPods which uh, lock the music down so that you can only play it on that iPod which is a bit pathetic um, and companies like Apple I mean they're taking all the profits and uh, again you know passing them over to the record companies and the artists aren't getting anything from this. So the uh, the Pirate Bay's idea is to take the money from uh, the sale of videos and um, merchandise and, and music and give it straight back to the artists, which sounds like an interesting new plan. So um, maybe you should look into getting in with the Pirate Bay. Uh, the, um, the thing that strikes me with uh, corporations is they're, they're whinging a lot about the, uh, the piracy aspect, but um, I mean I've seen plenty of pirated movies over the years and they've been very good quality um, is that companies will release before the UK and other countries in the US first and because this happens as with Cloverfield which was marketed um, the movie Cloverfield as uh, just the date of its release which was supposed to be the 18th of the first 08 so it was 18108 that was the logo for the movie um, until they actually revealed its name Cloverfield and of course people in the UK are going oh great you know we're gonna get to see the movie on 18th to the 1st 08 not gonna be um, same with TV programs I mean uh, various TV programs that come out in the States never even get shown in the UK because uh, they don't see it um, through a season um, they're cancelled before the end of the season but you know these these shows uh, a lot of people like them and wish they had been carried on these are the types of things that people are sharing on the internet and um, although it's a bit sad that uh, it has to be that way I mean what are people supposed to do in terms of um, if a show is never going to get shown in the UK and they've got people telling them about it and, you know they're obviously going to be interested enough to go and have a look so I think really it, it it falls down to the television companies and the movie companies to either provide a medium which is cheap enough um, you know to, to download uh, what you want, when you want it, and charge you accordingly for that. Um, otherwise, they open the market for people to just do that anyway. Um, so, you know, stop charging the £20 for a DVD um, and start charging £4 for a DVD of a new movie or something like that, and then people might buy them and they might even download them. So, you know, less packaging and less cost to you as a producer. Um, I think this is the future, and also companies are going to start. Um, moving away from television companies and uh, they're going to start releasing their own um, media. They're going to produce entertainment programs, documentaries, and they're going to produce them with the logos of the corporations in them. This is apparently supposed to be a new model idea that's come forward and they'll release these videos on the internet free of charge because it's actually cheaper to produce a program and put it on the internet than it is to get um, primetime advertising between say a football match or something like that which is horrendously expensive and they you know if you create a series that everybody wants to watch and is very popular and you put it on the internet everyone's going to come and watch it and they're going to get your advert for your logo of your company right the way through the program so you know this is a way forward and uh, a way that could keep uh, TV perhaps free and uh, entertainment free on the internet so uh, like your new uh, your new logo with the bubbles um, I, I tend now to call you lube tube. <laughs>